Okay. Ah, I don't even know how to do this. I'm stepping on things. Hello, people. It's been a while. It's really been a really, really long while. Okay, so I talked about this on my Instagram stories, but full disclosure, I'm going to be doing some makeup review. Tiga, I bought this makeup from a sale at Sephora last year. It came to me earlier this year, and the box of the makeup has been sitting, sitting, sitting for months and months and months and months. And I honestly, I have no excuse. So since the pandemic started, I haven't been very active. I don't even know how many videos I've done. I disappeared. It's been very sweet of some of you who um, messaged and who commented and who've, said, who've asked like what, where I am and why I'm not making any videos. And I had no excuse, <laughs> except just that I just didn't feel like it. There was just no other reason. And getting those messages felt nice, you know, it's like, okay, I, it was, I was missed. And obviously it's really impacted, you know, my audience and my numbers and stuff, all of that. But I've just, you know, come to the point where it, it just doesn't matter to me anymore. I started out doing this because I wanted to and I loved it and I'm going to continue doing it. And anytime that it starts feeling like a burden or something, I might just stop just like I did. And obviously a global pandemic doesn't help. But it's really nice that a lot of creators, they just continue to create and create and create. I also got like super busy, but anyway. So I've had all this makeup just sitting here. I literally did not even put it on my face because I was going to, I was saving it for a video. And so here we are. It's just a mix of some products that some of them I haven't ever used before and some of them I have. And we'll just, just try it out. Chit chat. Let's see where it goes. <sighs> all right. I bought the earrings because I thought it was a boring lag rahe. and I know that they're golden and my chain is silver but that's where we're at with this pandemic. No Fs given. <laughs> okay, Achha, this stuff here is a mix and match. Some of it I had ordered and some of it is just like samples and points redemption and gift with purchase sort of thing. And some say that they came from like a gift, like a, not a gift set but like a big set of like like favorites and things like that for example this brow pencil by it cosmetics i wouldn't have normally ordered it like in ye this is in the shade you shade universal taupe i didn't bring a mirror should i just start with my brows i never really start with my brows but at least it's it's quite waxy let me zoom you in so for ye to be honest ek to ye bahut zyada waxy hai like it's too waxy it's almost kind of hard to apply and it's thick. So if you have like thinner brows with finer hair like mine, might be a little difficult. So you guys tell me something like, are you, are you guys watching videos on YouTube still? Or has everyone sort of transferred to Instagram or Facebook? What's the tea? Where should I be posting? Okay, those are my eyebrows. I'm just going to brush them out. Or upper semestre, another product that I ordered that it's not new. Maybe none of these products are new, but I like it. It's a great quick brow thing. Is this Benefit Ka Gimme Brow? It's like just a gel with a teeny tiny spoolie. So this is nice when you want to like do a quick thing and you just want to be out the door and don't want to do like full brows. A product that I got in uh, this box, not this box, but whatever, with this order, which was a repurchase, which I really like. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturizer. What I would say though is that this is good for normal combination, even oily skin. Um, dry skin people like me would probably benefit from this more in humid weather conditions. Abhi just say it's winter and the weather has become quite dry. This, I feel like because it gets absorbed so quickly, it, it doesn't deeply moisturize my skin as much. I am using the Embryo Lease moisturizer, which is really, really good, but I'm not, I'm not pushing any products right now, by the way. I have my moisturizer on. I should have like not done my moisturizer first but one of the things that i got which i've been dying pretty much to try but obviously i haven't really gotten a chance and haven't really tried it and i wanted to save it for for this video is this uh natasha denona it's my first natasha denona purchase this packaging looks kind of crappy to be honest i mean it's plastic like in your peaches it's a cheap but it's not a cheap brand at all uh, it's the mini lila palette and it's got like these really pretty purple shades so i thought why not why did i still not get a mirror like using the tiniest of tiny mirrors ever this is an experiment 
Acha, what I do like about this, so it's got these five shades, and I'm pretty sure you can get a good, decent look with it, is that they have this transition shade in it already, which is called uh, Flint. And then this is, oh, this is Linen, this is Raisin, this is Blue Dahlia, and this is Poison Cherry. I'm gonna do one swipe swatches for you on the back of my hand. Okay, not the best placement, but these are the swatches. I didn't rub back and forth, back and forth, but maybe I should do this one better. Mm, this last shade is a little, I don't know, maybe it's breaking up because it's on my knuckles. Like in, it's interesting. I like the middle one. I like the gold. The sh purple shimmer is also nice, but okay, fine. So we'll start with the transition. Let's see where this takes us. Is it worth it? I think this was like 25 to $30. Oh wait, Ugh, so stupid. It's a so stupid. I got primer. So I'll do this eye later. I'm gonna do this eye first. I'm using the Fenty Beauty primer. I don't know what it's called. I don't think it has many primers, so I'm pretty sure you can figure it out, but okay, for those of you who wanna know, Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I've totally forgotten how to film. I don't have anything to wipe my hands with. Acha, I also have this small Clinique, I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's a sample. It's so cute. It is, um, it's from the same Moisture Surge line, but it's, it's for the eyes, so I will be applying that later on. This mirror is really cool, by the way. It's from Miniso. Miniso ki weird baat ye hoti hai ki you don't necessarily find the same things again. Like you might find something once and then it's sold out and then they don't have it again. But anyway, so I'm going to start with this transition shade and I'm going to go where we normally go, over the crease. That looks decent. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go in with a slightly denser brush like this and go into this middle shade right here which we realized was called Raisin. And just going to tap in that quite a bit on my brush. And I'm going to really gently pack it onto my crease. I'm gonna kind of flick it out like this way rather than going down because I want to lift my eyes with it. I'm gonna go in with that first brush and blend out the top. I'm not getting any fallout here, which is really good. With certain eyeshadows, I notice like, where skin is something like that, sometimes you'll be blending and then it splotchy splotches. You get like pigment that catches on to one part of, of the skin or it skips. I really don't like that. So, so far it's not doing that. Kind of has blended into the brown. I'm going to now take the other side of this and go into this more berry purple kind of shade on the corner, which is Poison Berry. What I want to do is maybe do a little bit of concealer on the in inner side and go over it with these like this golden glitter shade. So I'm going to use the Born This Way concealer. I'm kind of doing it like half up and half not. Like all my looks, I have no idea where I'm going with this, but somehow we'll pull it together. Now I'm going to take this golden color again, not again, but I'm going to take this golden color and it's called Linen. And I'm going to take it on like a synthetic brush like that. I'm going to try to incorporate this shade over here, which is called Blue Dahlia. Maybe use it in the middle as a transition? I don't know. All right, so I did the other eye. Thoughts, thoughts, ye hanky. Good shade. Love this shimmer shade. Very, very pretty. These two are nice, but too similar once you blend it out or put it on your eye. They're very soft. What I like about them is they're a very soft eyeshadow. They don't feel dry and chalky that way. This is a little bit disappointing. I don't understand what it is with what it is. Maybe alone all over the eye. I don't know what I did on my eye, okay? The blue indigo shimmer shade might have been a mistake, but that's what I have. You appreciate it. It's a cat eye type look. Maybe we'll fix it. I don't know. Something's going to come out of this. You know that usually happens. By the time I'm done, it feels good. What do you do? As promised, I'm going to try this Clinique Moisture Eye Surge, which I haven't really tried yet. I had a really bad accident with one of the things that I got. Skincare was Sunday Riley's Sleeping Retinol Oil. It was very good. 
and it was in a glass bottle and it fell and it was barely used but now it's gone this feels nice eye cream i actually also like taking over my because it's good for those areas and around your lip area any of those sensitive sort of areas just like the center of the face now in this Too Faced Wala Dabba, we got four things. It was like, uh, I had points, I had Beauty Insider points. So, isme hai a actually I already have one, this is my second one. This, I really actually like this. This is uh, the peach, peach Perfect, this is from their whole peaches line. This is basically mattifying translucent powder. Also in it is a mascara, a primer. Cool matte skin perfecting primer infused with peach and I don't know if I really want matte skin and a lipstick. So I have oh, this is a very cool toned nude lipstick. Ye tricky hoti hai. Sometimes they don't really look good on my skin. Anyway, let's start with a primer. I haven't really been using primers to be honest, All, especially like mattifying primers because my skin is very dry and matte. So I don't understand it. But I'm just going to use a little bit. Maybe just to like fill in the pores. It smells nice, like that typical artificial peach scent. So this corrector, I'm just gonna go into these very dark corners and the outer corner of my eye. Whatever is left on my sponge, I go around here on my nose. You have thirty see darkness out here and a little bit around these two spots here. So the foundation I'm gonna use is one of my favorites. It's the Fit Me foundation. I don't know why this doesn't have a pump. It used to and now it doesn't have a pump. So this is how much I took, okay? And I'm going to just stipple my brush over it and start from the middle of my face and work outwards. And this is pretty much all that I'm going to use. We really don't need to paint our faces. I like using the dewy and smooth versus the matte voila for obvious reasons. I'm gonna use the sponge, sort of blend it. Anytime anyone asks me for an affordable like drugstore foundation, immediately this is the one I recommend. Okay, before I blend it in, I just want you to see the placement of where I put the concealer. We want light to bounce off of these areas and really a little does go a long way. Okay, so before I continue with my contour, which I got from DMGM, which is a brand you can get here. I think it's an Italian brand. I always used to think it's a German brand, like in your Italian brand, it's made in Italy. So this is really cool. Um, I wanted a stick contour. I didn't, didn't have one like this. And the cool thing is it's very creamy. Usually, this is the foundation shades. Me, or, so they've called it a foundation and contour. So I was lucky enough. Usually you can't find darker shades, but I guess things have been happening in Pakistan as well. They understand these things. They can this before. I want to do some eyeliner. I love a good felt tip eyeliner. This is Sephora. Ka hai. I like the little size. I think it's great for like travel or putting it in your bag. It's going on pretty well. And it's quite matte, which is very nice. So I'm going to just follow this line and kind of wing it out. It's a really nice fine tip and it's made a nice wing. This is excellent. I'm pleasantly surprised. It wasn't that expensive. Sephora ki brand ki cheese usually are not that expensive. And it went on very well and it was matte and dark. I didn't have to keep going over it. And I also have one in brown, so I'm very happy about that. You know, I don't like to overdo it. Thoda sa main yaha dalungi. Thoda sa yaha. For me, I have a really pointy nose, so everyone will not need to contour in the same way, by the way. So I like like right around the lips and then definitely here. Let's see how this blends out. I'm going to use this, this Real Techniques Kaya brush. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's the expert face brush and it's really good at blending like creamy things. It's blending in pretty nice. And the one around my jaw, I just kind of pull downwards. This part, double chin, things like that. I can just kind of hide those. For my nose, I like using this. It's like an angled kind of a brush. It's got synthetic fibers, so it's good for that. Whatever's extra, I just pull it up. All right, I, I'm happy with that. It's nice. It's kind of, it's not like over. It's there, but it's also kind of subtle. All right, I turned off one of the lights. <laughs> 
It was giving me really bad shadows. I really didn't need more shadows underneath my eyes. Khair. So what I was saying is I do like this contour. It's a little bit warm, but this was the coolest shade that I could find. And it's fine. Before I go over it, uh, over it with like a bronzer, I'm going to use the Peach Perfect Loose Setting Powder. And I want to show you how I use this. It's really nice. I think I might even like it better than the Laura Mercier Bala. It's very, very finely milled and it's got a little bit of a pinkish touch. As you know, I don't bake. I just like to pat it in here and then just brush it off. This is exactly what I do. So I take a very little bit in the lid and I like that it's kind of peach because it sort of brightens as well. How is it meeta? That is so weird. I'm not going to go like all over my face because I don't want like my face to be super matte. For the bronzer, I'm going to use a Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. You've seen me use this. Um, I was testing these products out. It's really nice. It's very, very pretty. It's one of the darker bronzers, but it's nice. It's perfect for the summer months. The difference between bronzer and contour is contour se aap shadows create karte hain. You basically create cheekbones that you may feel that you don't have. Bronzer so you just bring some color into your face, give yourself like a tan. So that's why bronzers are usually like this, like a warmer kind of a shade. And contours have a little bit of more gray in them. And we should try not to really confuse the two. I'm just gonna go in with my bronzer right here in the corner. This part, like right under my eyebrow to my nose, I'm just going to join that. We're getting close to the end. I'm going to do a little bit of blush. I'm just going to use this old blush that I have. I, I have two mascaras, but I want to do the bottom of my eyes because I think it looks a little crazy when it's just the top. I'm going to take that first transition shade. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to try this powder, this, this Sephora powder. I am so all over the place today, seriously. Okay, excuse my brain fog. Now I'm gonna be stupidly trying on this powder, but I really wanna try it. It's a micro smooth baked face compact. And this is what it looks like. I just wanna know how this is going to perform. It's got a little bit of pigment to it. It's got a little bit of coverage too. I saw Farah Dukai really praise this, mention it, and so I thought I'd try it out. I think it's interesting. I'm gonna go in with this berry shade. Okay, not bad. I'm like skipping from my eyes to my face and I mean, it's okay. We still have the ambient lighting powder to try. I have tried this product, but not this shade. This is another shade that I got. The one that I had before was called Diffused Light and I felt like it was a little too light for my face. It didn't really do much. This one is luminous light, so I have higher expectations from it. And then I have two mascaras as well, which is one is spa, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I've tried this one, so I'm not going to try it right now. I'm going to try this Kush Mascara by Milk Cosmetics. I haven't really tried many of their products. It is a smaller version. Ooh, it's a really um, fluffy, fat brush. I haven't really used ones like this before. The mascara is decent. It does definitely need a few coats. I always like to go into the bottom of my lashes as well. Let's try the ambient lighting powder. Yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. I already see a glow. Like it's not like a full on highlight. And that's what I really like about this is that it just, it just gives you this natural looking glow like where the light is, it really picks up on that. Oh yeah, it's so pretty. It makes your skin look filtered. Oh, wow. Look at that. And I'm like kind of not feeling uh, really, really blinding highlighters these days. This, I just, I, this is something that I, I've always looked for is just to have something that just makes you look like you're glowing from within and it doesn't look like this metallic highlighter. Like I just want to show you the difference. So this is the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter. It, it's beautiful. It's a really, really lovely very, very pigmented, um, very metallic kind of shimmery highlighter. It's very pretty. It's very nice. If you want to go to an event like that, I'm just going to show it to you on one, uh, one side. You see how it's like versus this where it's like this is really, really metallic. If you saw me from up close, you would probably be like I said, there's highlighter on. But with this, what I love about it is that it's not 
it's not blinding, but it's just this beautiful, like, wow, is your, your skin is glowing. And that is what I want. So I thought, why not go all out and pop on some lashes, thoda sa full full karte hain. Last step is with lipstick. Mere paas ek, as I showed you, the uh, Too Faced lipstick. I have a lip liner by Sephora. It's in the shade Pale Beige. And um, the lipstick I got was also the one I got at the same time as the DMGM. Is this Diana of London, Diana Super Matte Lipstick. Inky Bullet Lipsticks are actually really good. I have another one. It's called Dragon Fruit. It's like this bright pink color and it's excellent. I really recommend this brand. It's a drugstore ba brand. It's a UK based brand. And I got this really pretty like warm nude shade. It's in the shade three naturally nude. I'm sorry if my video has been all over the place today. I don't even, I'm not even sitting right, but like it's, it's really been so long. So not used to it. I like Sephora lip liners. I mean, generally a lot of the, some people really don't like Sephora products like unke apni brand ke, but a lot of them actually are pretty good. Their lip line and they're, they're comparatively, they're affordable. They're almost like uh, drugstore prices. So I'm going with this, see how it looks on the lips. I'm really back into bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I feel like have had their day. I still have my liquid lipsticks. They can, I really apply them in a very different way, which I will show you uh, one day. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a perfect nude, don't you think? And then I have this Sephora Gloss Balm. Uh, it's very pinky. I highly recommend that when you have lip gloss, laga rahe ho, I really do recommend putting lip gloss on. But just put it on the center of your lips. You don't really need to go all around. So that's the final look. Normally, I'd use like a little bit of a setting spray and just, you know, sort of like put everything together. Lick and we're good. It's fine. I like this. It's good to be back and do another video. I hope I don't take eight more months. I think it's been more than that to do another one. And um, I quickly also wanted to mention some other like uh, skincare and body care products that I did get. This is the Fresh Soy Cleanser, uh, face cleanser. I really, really like this. It's very gentle. This is like, this is a repurchase of it. Another thing that I did was get the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum. This is actually a vitamin C collagen boosted with True C Complex uh, facial serum. So it's so that. I need to use as well. I have another one, so I'm not really using it right now. I think this is an older purchase. This is the Hourglass. <laughs> I still haven't used it. This is, I, I have not really been using makeup, especially doing a full face, full, full beat. It's just something that's not been in my list of priorities. I did get the highly talked about and revered Sol de Janeiro. What is this? It's a fast absorbing body cream. Helps tighten and smooth like no other. I really should start using it before it goes bad. But yeah, it smells nice and it feels good. So, okay, I can understand the whole hype behind it. And I also got a Youth to the People ka Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. And it looks like this and it's like in the glass bottle. So that was the look. I hope you liked it. Full disclosure, I did a little glitter. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you health and happiness to you and your family. And my prayer is that this pandemic, this disease, this disease will be finished soon. And we can return to our normal lives. We can meet each other and hug each other and go out without worries and not have to keep a damn mask on. But until then, please be safe and put that damn mask on. And yeah, take care. Love you.